Hey guys, it's Renee so for this cupcakes, I'm going to be using a piece of cardboard to make the template first. I'm gonna be folding that in half and then I'll work on the like shape of the tulip half of it. I'll just go and drag one line from the top to the bottom, then from that go up again and then from the top again go to the bottom. I'm kind of like drawing the round shape of the tulip, then I'm gonna cut it and I just fold this in half just so that my shape is even. Then I'm going to be taking a few color papers. I'm working with pink, teal. I don't think there are actual teal tulips, but I really like teal. Then I grabbed this uh, fuchsia purple and then this mustard. Feel free to work with yellow. I'm going to trace the shape of my tulip all throughout my papers. And since these are paper, they are not really thick, obviously. So I'm just going to be making them double. So for one, I'm going to be using actually two. And because of that, I cut a bunch of them. And then I'm going to be tracing the shape of my leaf. It's one of those long ones and a piece of cardboard that I'm going to cut it. And then again, tracing my template on this lighter and darker greens. So I'm just going to be using two per leaf. So now it's time to cut the whole thing. I'm going to be gluing them together using a glue stick. Feel free to work with cardboards so you don't have to glue anything. I just liked the color of like these papers better than the ones that I saw uh, for cardboards. Gluing two of the same color flowers, one on top of the other. For my lips, I decided to go for two shades of green, just so the one that goes in the back gives it a bit of dimension. It's really subtle, but I think it looks better. I'm gonna take a toothpick. Now, this is not a regular toothpick. Toothpicks are shorter. I think regular toothpicks are way too short for this. I bought this at Walmart. Feel free to work with cocktail sticks. They are not as long as cocktail sticks, but those will work as well. But I'm going to be painting this with some acrylic paint. A forest green is called, I think. As you can see, I cut it like rectangles um, of the same paper. So just so that I can glue my toothpick. So I'm going to go to the back, add some glue to my tiny piece of paper, and then just place my toothpick in between and then just press it. And then for my lips, I'm going to be making them curly like lips are almost like dragging and pulling towards you. I'm going to be gluing this again with my glue stick and just adding the glue to the paper and then just pressing it against the toothpick and against the other piece of paper. And that's it for my tulip decorations. Feel free to use them for like decor for parties. If you're doing that, just paint the whole toothpick. But since I'm using this as cupcake choppers, obviously I'm not going to be painting what's going inside my cupcake. I made two kinds of cupcakes, some without the liners. In a recent uh, DIY, I share how I do it and how they taste. And in some others, I'm going to be using cupcake toppers. And I'll swirl some frosting as well with my Milton 1M. The frosting I'm using, by the way, is the uh, cream cheese frosting by Nordstrom's Cafe. I recently tried it and just shared the recipe here. The recipe is from like their cookbook. And finally, I'm going to be kind of like sprinkling some like shop nuts. I really like them. I think they look really cute. They are so vibrant, so happy. They were really easy to make. Obviously, if you're gonna be painting your uh, toothpick, make sure that you don't place that paint inside cupcake or just feel free to use edible colors. These ones are perfect for summertime, at least where I am. It's still a pretty hot weather. It feels like summer here. I really hope you like them. They're actually really easy to make, so much fun to make and to look at. Choose colors that are vibrant and just um, summery. Feel free to make them out of fondant, but for these ones, uh, I feel like it's better and easier to work with paper. But yeah, I really liked them. Hopefully you liked them too. If you did, let me know down below. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up, subscribe for more and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.